Okay, because this is YouTube, we need to do our recap recording it rather than pre-editing it out of the live stream. So we're showing you behind the scenes. This is our full view. And ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in New Realms, Episode 26, Prep, Reference, Evolve, QCB. In today's episode, we re-entered by reflecting that we have a lot of ideas at once across multiple projects. For example, a ton more ideas for our composing exhibit, Case in Point. On the left-hand side is a whiteboard diagram of our composing exhibit concept. On the right-hand side is our actual build to date in Second Life. And one, the main reason we are streaming in YouTube is because we want to be able to show what we're doing in Second Life. Wow, we're getting some weird visual effects there. Um, so this is our avatar and this is our build space. And the concept for the composing exhibit is that we have this floor plan and these green pillars represent stations of uh, uh, types of composing. And we have a ton of ideas for all that. Also on our mind, updating the project briefing area gave us good practice and reminders for our composing exhibit. Case in point, if we go from here and teleport back and teleport back, this is where we did the briefing for a dress rehearsal. So this is a custom display we put together for uh, reminding the students what their project was and how the presentation's going to go. And then we, we actually went around all four team areas and looked at their bills and looked at what they had in mind. About all of these teams are doing sustainability. In fact, we just spent a little time on this very episode working with this student who is building an example of a piece of furniture made in uh, real life and in Second Life. So going back to here, but we're pretty much done here. So that, that was going on. We're still getting used to YouTube streaming. Um, I tell you, we monitor our stream with our phone like this, but when we are timing presentations and we need to use the timer, then, uh, uh, and then uh, we finally ended up doing some an final animation projects, and we're going to show you one of those. But we did two of them. We called the None Too Bright Gallery Animation, and then we did another uh, uh, dance, performing arts in virtual reality. So that's what all this says. just so much stuff that we're working on that we could show you. But what we really want to do, we're going to show you this. We took our World System 6 and went to um, the artist None Too Bright, who's on Renderosity, and got their permission, and we did a gallery animation, and that's what we're going to wrap it up with here. So here we go.
So that concludes today's episode. What we really like about this animation is, as we said, the what we're calling the micro-synchronization. And what do we mean by that? Well, for example, we picked certain of those images, like number one, uh, the Egyptian princess, number two, the blue mermaid, the blue headset, the Indian, the trident. And then we synchronized it with what we knew the timestamps were the measures, the bar numbers, in the piece of music. And sometimes it was four seconds per image, sometimes it was 3.43, 3.2. So that's an example of micro-synchronization. And we worked it so that the what we call the Artemis image came up uh, at the very end with the little pleasing uh, chord resolution in the, in the music. So our ideas for next time are to continue the composing exhibit build and to continue the YouTube streaming learning. Um, and our good old friend to be determined, Dr. Pickle Russell stopped by. Uh, I think they're the second ever YouTube chat person that said hello since we started on YouTube this month. Silent Lurker, as always, no matter what stream we're on, they, they come by and quiet constructive builder. We appreciate you. Tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care. Do come back and do keep on streaming.